No, uh, we're all here today to support such a great cause, uh, the Falling Whistles Foundation, which, as you all know, is supporting uh, peace in Congo. And, uh, you know, the fact that they're, still, uh, they're sending children to the front lines, and uh, this is the biggest war that our world's ever seen. So, uh, we're all here because of Devin Maloof right here. <laughs> who I'm still convinced is not 12 years old like she told me she was. Uh, she organized this whole thing and uh, she's been working tirelessly to uh, really kind of promote this and, and get everything you know out in the open and get everyone talking about it, which is why uh, everyone should have one of these whistles. If you don't, go get one. Um, uh, to say a few words, the host of the evening, Miss Devin Maloof. school so we're here today to support this amazing cause that, uh, brought to our attention by Sean and David who we will be hearing from later which is gonna be awesome but, so, I've been working with falling whistles or I've gotten involved about three months ago when my cousin Carrie who may or may not be here yeah oh she is here okay then she is here um, oh there she is over there hi Carrie yeah, so she told me and my mom the story of the boys in Congo and how badly they're being treated and that they're abducted and all just this horrible, horrible stuff. So it was kind of like a no-brainer for me. I was like, I'm 12, they're 12, we're children, I want to get involved. So I emailed Brittany, who was at that time an intern, an intern at Falling Whistles, and she said, do whatever you want that you think would be appropriate for your age. So the first thing I thought was flyers, get the word out, get the word out. So I made some flyers, I passed them out at my school. We had a little jar in my first period class where people just dropped in spare change. And our goal was to raise $100 at the end of four weeks, which was enough to get a golden whistle for our teacher. So at the, but the, at the end of two weeks, when we did like a mid-month counting, we had already raised $126. So we were like, okay, this is really great. This is, we can keep going, we can keep going. Let's go get $200 so we can get two whistles. Um, so that's what we did. We, at the end of the month, we raised $281.12. So, yeah. And that was thanks to all the people in my class and anybody who went to my class and saw, oh, there's a jar, because I had the little flyer up and it was right next to it so people could just read about it and they would drop literally stuff from their pockets or just put it in there. And But it totaled up. Like One of the things that I kept saying